Good afternoon, everybody. Anna here. Welcome back to my channel and to another pre-recorded Thrifty Thursday sales video. Today in my video, I'm going to show a few lots. I have a number of different types of jewelry. I will show that in just a minute. Before I get started, let me mention that if you would like to purchase an item, please email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. Uh, that'll be email will be included in the description section of my video. If you have never purchased from me before, email me please as well and give me your PayPal email address, your YouTube name in the country in which you live. Um, shipping is typically $5 unless it goes over a pound and then it'll go up if you're out of the United States. It's slightly higher. It's around, it's around 15 for Canada. I don't have any other customers at this point in any other countries besides Canada and the United States, but I'll have to check um, if, if I get anybody out of Canada or the United States interested. So I wanted to mention... Um, that in the comment section, I will have an updated sold list. So you can just go there and see as things are being sold. You'll see it noted, sold, I'll pin it at the top. So please check that as well. It'll make things easier for you. So I'm going to get started um, without wasting any more time to show you guys um, what I have available. I hope you see something that you would like, that you will like. Okay, I'm going to start off with a cloisonne lot that I have. Let me move that out of the side. Off to the side. I have... One second, I'm sorry. Yeah. I am prepared. I just put everything on a tray. I even measured it. Um, get myself started. So These are the pieces. I've shown these before. I'm going to do the entire lot for $25. I have these two bracelets that measure a little over two and one half inches across. They're in good shape. See, they're very, they're nice. One's a little thicker than the other. There's that. I have this cloisonne necklace. Nice shape, a little different. This is measuring 26 inches around the neck. You see you have the pearl clasp. It's a little scuffed back there a bit, um, or worn, not scuffed. Faux pearls in these gold tone tubes, or whatever you call those. Anyways, this is, like I said, 26 inches around the neck and a one and three quarter inch um, pendant on it. Then I have this, this, this nice piece here. Um, it's strung on a, a fabric probably like a polyester I'd say and they have it tied up here um I figured some of this may be repurposed like possibly that one it's still a nice piece though and this is lovely I think little cloisonne cross with 10 or 11 beads going around here in faux pearls they're in good shape and then there's this bracelet is very nice it's really nice cloisonne piece there um and you have um sea glass on it, faux pearls, um, there's green, as you can see, faux pearls, different shaped, and then you have glass uh, faceted, and then like, this is like a molded or carved type, molded, I would say. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, six pieces, 25 bucks for the cloisonne lot, if you would like it, there it is. I think that's a good deal. I have a Marcusite ring in here, size seven and one half marcasites and sterling it is marked inside there what is it marked 925 and some kind of initials i'm sorry okay seven it's size seven and one half marcasite and sterling silver ring is 15 dollars. if anybody's interested in that I have a Brighton bracelet. I offered it before. I'll offer it again here for $15. It's a size seven and one half. Here's the Brighton marking. It's fold over clasp. It did say size seven and a half, right? Yeah, hearts on this side, squares and circles. On this side, you have rhinestones, clear rhinestones, and some gold tone on there as well. It's got a nice weight to it. It's a nice one. I believe it's vintage. 
I have a nice Trafari TM necklace. This is also $15 because this is nice. I do my pricing per what I pay for it and, um, and make it if or not, you know, it's selling it for cheaper and what it's worth. Um, I, at least I hope I am. No, I am. It's 14 to 18 inches. This is, um, has an extender back there. It is a shepherd's hook. There's the shapes on it. It has some enameling on these parts, you see. And acrylic. And it's marked right there. Trafori TM. This is a nice Trafori TM piece. It's not faded at all. It's in good shape. All right, that's 15. If anyone's interested. Um... I have these little dangles I just picked up. They are, um, ow, the stem is it. Also, these are, oh, wait, there, let me go to this one next. This is, um, no, this looks like the Monet book piece, but I cannot find the homework on it. But it's, it's lovely still. It is, um, where is it? Oh, so sorry. I'm not usually. Oh, Monet look pin. I think it's Monet 15 bucks. Look at the back. It's well made. It's mid-century looking great. Um, by the construction and the coloring. It's like a brushed gold. And it is actually two and three quarter inches, almost three inches on that. Reminds me of one of those shaggy dogs. There's the back again. 15 on that. And now I have... I have these three tiny little pins. I don't know. Two are marked Mon Avon and the other one I couldn't find. So I have a an adorable little cuckoo clock. These are 10. A little purse with a faux pearl. They all have the pin pieces on it. It's one of the ones that like you pull on. I believe all three are um, Avon. See, they all have the same kind of pin. There's the cuckoo clock. These are like a half of an inch. And then I have this cute little hat, gold tone hat with a clear rhinestone. So all three of those are 10 if anybody wants them. This is a 1928 necklace. Nice. It's, it's in good shape. It's not faded at all. But it is 14 inches with a 3 inch extender on it. There's the tag. Well, it's on the wrong side, but there you go, 1928. This is like a little over half inch I didn't measure that piece it's pretty well made little necklace I think it's pretty it's a 1928 I have these um crown trafari mid-century tassel earrings as well I'm doing for um two inches for ten dollars these are white they're metal white enameling over metal gold tone they're a clip and they are marked crown trafari with a copyright two inches I believe these go with the waterfall necklace. If anybody has one like that or knows somebody that does, I'll do these. That's tangled up there. It's not broken. Um, For $10 as well. Sorry. Little crown trafari dangles. These are metal and covered with white enameling. Those are 10 I have a milk glass bracelet here. I'll do this for 10 too. It's seven inches. It's nice. It's vintage. It's in good shape. They're fully pronged. It's a fold over clasp. $10 on that. And I did say seven inches, right? Yep. On the milk glass. Um, I have it. This is nice. This is seven and one quarter inches. This looks kind of like a modernist type of look. It's a well-made one. This is Avon, actually. There's the back. See how the links are? It's pretty well made. It's a little, um, a little rough. Fold over clasp. And is marked Avon back there. Did I? Seven and one quarter inches in great shape. Nice bracelet. Avon, $10. I didn't expect it to be Avon. What's next? I'm trying to go in my order. I have a wood jewelry lot for 10 bucks. Let me show you it. I know I have some, some ladies interested in wood jewelry. These look like nuts. I don't know. I think they are nuts. That's wood. Different colors of wood. Stretch. That's one. I didn't measure these. Sorry. This is all wood. 
that's look like turquoise. I don't believe it is. It's a wood slather. But this handmade necklace goes in there. I didn't measure it. It looks about 16 inches. Sorry, this is one that I threw in last minute. I forgot to measure it. It's wood. <clears throat> Triple, double, I don't know how many strands. Six, eight, eight strands of wood with glass seed beads in between, it looks like. Yeah, that are colored. I didn't test this, but I don't believe it's sterling. But I, I didn't measure it. I'm sorry, but it's a longer wooden necklace. Twist up and then there's these little disc. Again, that looks that is a spring ring clasp, and this is probably about 16 inches, maybe a little longer. Different colored woods as well. So all four of those would be ten dollars for the wood lot if you're interested in that. I have this, I believe this is brass at, at, at least it's brass finish. If it's not brass, I think it's cool. It's, those are, it is engraved in there and like painted black in there. Um, I don't see any markings on it. I don't see any fading either. Um, size 8 brass or brass finished ring for 10 if anybody's interested. I think it's nice. It's big. I have small fingers. Like lengthwise it covers like most of that finger where it fits. Um, I have this Pastelli. Did I show that? No. This is nice. This is a vintage Pastelli rose, and I paired it up with a pair of earrings that are not Pastelli, but they match well enough. This is a two and three quarter inch rose pin. There's the back. It is marked Pastelli right there. Lovely rose. And then the earrings are measuring one and one quarter inch. There's the inside. They look close enough. I think these are clips. I paired them up, 10 bucks if anybody wants to Pastelli roses, while well, the earrings are not Pastelli, I did say that. Um, let me see, Ch the Chica's Dragon Necklace as well. This is nice, It would. this is great for the refurbishing type of check that has some skills, um, or man, I do not at this point. It's Chico's. It looks like Japaning, it, like if it's black, it's painted. I'm not saying it's Japaning, but that's what they're, the look they're going for here. Um, and it is, uh, these are glass. They look like crystal. They're, I believe, are glass with the coating over. And then little, like, sequin pieces on here, like, but it's cool, I think. There's a dragon on this side. Some purpling blue enamel back there, and on the back, some kind of symbol that I have no idea what that means. But it's a 14 inch with a four inch extender, and it is 10 bucks for anybody who would like it. Nice necklace, I believe something was hanging off there. You could like repurpose this or something, or do something with it. It's worth more than 10 bucks, I know that. Um, I have Trafari glass faux pearls for um. Uh, 10 bucks as well, and they're quite lovely. Honestly, this must have been from when... Oh, I'm not going to give details because I don't know. I know when he paired up with... Whatever, I don't need to give the details. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Spring ring clasp. I believe it's vintage. Just Mark Trafari. I don't know how vintage. Could be more modern. How can I say, really? These are glass faux pearls and glass seed beads. And this is a lovely silvery blue color. I did measure it. It is a total of 30 inches around your neck. Let me show you what it would look like. That's 10 bucks, very nice for 10 bucks, very nice necklace. Glass faux pearls and glass seed beads in a lovely color. All right, 10 for that. I showed the wood jewelry. Let me show, I have a tiger eye necklace. This is 10 bucks as well. One of you ladies told me you like this. Um, hopefully you see it and you can get it. It's 10 bucks. It is tiger eye. It's very nice. Um, let me show the pieces. It's short. It's a short necklace. It's 15 inches. Let's see. For that, tiger eye is um, 10 bucks. 15 inch tiger eye. Make sure you just call it a 15 inch tiger eye because there's more tiger eye mixed with other things in here. One more at least. Okay, let me flip it. I have an acrylic cameo. This is nice, I think. It's two inches. This is an acrylic, um, made to look like carnelian, but it's not this, you can see through it, but that's definitely acrylic. And she is on top of there. <laughs> she's two inches. And she's 10 bucks, if anybody's interested. Call this one the um, 
you can just call it the acrylic cameo because I have this one as well. This is two inches. This is nice. I believe it's metal. It's 10 bucks. It's two inches. I think I already said that, but she's pretty. Like in, she's raised up off there. It's pretty nice. Doesn't have any markings on it. It's not real heavy as you can see. Not real light though either, but it's $10. It's very nice, I think. This Cookie Lee necklace is lovely. I don't pick a whole lot of Cookie Lee up, but when I see something like this, I just have to. It's um glass and crystal. And I think it's very pretty. Look with the pieces on here. The Cookie Lee, there's these, this ring is glass as well. And this, I don't. That's like wrap has fa glittery fabric wrapped around, but these are all glass and crystals. One little rhinestone rondel. And this I don't this this is some kind of fabric. I'm not gonna call it lace. You have the cookie lee tag, a spring ring, I mean a lobster claw clasp. Let me hang it up. It's a lovely cookie lee. Um I like the way it shines and let me give you the measurements on it. This is a 27 inch necklace with a five inch extender. It shines beautifully. It's 10 bucks. It's very nice, different shapes. You have faceted, you have this glass is like molded. It's very nice. That one's 10. Everything else is 10 that I'm showing. These are Chico's, one's a left and one's a right. Um, these are faux tur turquoise and lapis. Have a clear rhinestone in it. There's, it's on different parts because they deliberately did that. One there and one there. Okay, so these are um, two inches. They're 10 bucks. They're pretty nice. They're metal. They are marked Chico's somewhere. Didn't I see Chico's on here? Right there, just one's marked. Chico's is for faux turquoise and lapis, but very nice little three quarter hoops kind of. Yeah, they go. They're pretty nice, I think. What else do I have? Two crosses for 10 bucks. I think they're nice. This is porcelain, and probably transfer. I don't think it's painted, but there's a gold tone. I had a lot that had a lot of jewelry bag that had a lot of crosses in it. I already sold a few. Somebody contacted me and wanted a couple, three of them. But this one is a two and three quarter inch cross and the gold tone chain, as you can see it. Let me show it to you up close. There's the back. It's pretty nice um, decor decorated. It's it's lovely, I think. Um, it's a 22 inch chain with a spring ring clasp. There's that one. And then there's a silver tone. It's the same type of thing. I believe porcelain with the transfer done, I believe. Silver tone, the cross on this one is two inches and the spring ring clasp chain is 22 inches as well. So the two crosses are $10 if you're interested. I have this Sarah, vintage Sarah Cove silver tone bracelet with roses, as you see. There's the back, there's the links. It's a pretty well made Sarah Cove piece. Um, it's a fold over clasp. So for this one, um, seven and three quarter inches, it's 10 bucks, because everything is from this point on. Um, I think it's pretty. It's Mark Sarah Cove back here. Fold over glass, it's, it's nice. Next is, let me show this one. This is nice, I think. This is a Bella Jack. It's in the front, actually. Um, Bella Jack necklace, 20 inches with a three inch extender. I think it's pretty, it's really nice. You have like these round, rhinestone cl uh, clustered balls, um, rondelles on top of the faux pearls. And I believe these are all, those ones are plastic. The ones up top are glass. The ones up, glass faux pearls up here. Chain linked, chain is, it's built on chain as Bella Jack. It's, it has a lobster claw. These are all glass. Down here, these ones are plastic. And you have these gold tone, twist it like knot things. The rhinestone balls and anyways the measurements on this it's pretty long it's 20 inches with a three inch extender it's ten dollars as well i think it's a pretty necklace um it's nice bella jack it's the first time i've ever seen that brand um this here is a faux pearl tassel necklace 
and I think it's pretty nice. Look, it's a fold over clasp, no markings. It's not faded at all as far as I can see. No, it's not two chains, it's double chained. And a faux pearls here and a little tassel, cool looking faux pearl. The tassel. So the measurements on this faux pearl tassel is 22 inches on the chain. And the tassel itself is five inches or four inches. This is a four inch tassel. It's a nice necklace. Let me lift it. Oh, no. It's $10. Next is, I have, that's kind of, well, let me show this. This is tiger eye. This is not sterling settings on here, but you have a nice piece of tiger eye down here. Tiger eye and quartz hair, and these are silver tone. They're not sterling. So this one is a tiger eye and quartz, you would call it. 16 inches of with one and one half inch extender on it. And it's it's nice. Little slithers of tiger eye and this bigger piece hair of tiger eye. Okay, that's 10 as well. Tiger eye and quartz. Now I have tiger eye and hematite or hema-like if it's not hematite. Like I said before, um, it's nice. There's rose quartz on here and clear quartz, and these are glass. And I believe it is hematite, but if not, it's hema-like. It's still a nice necklace. It is a barrel clasp. It's 15 inches, and it's $10. I have this. I put together tassel necklace. I think that's very lovely. The tassel. Let me give you the measurements on and I'll hang this up. As a gold tone chain with that, uh, with a lobster claw clasp. This is a 28 inch necklace with a three inch extender. That is glass. This piece is glass. Those are clear rhinestones. None of them are missing. But I'm gonna, I'm doing, I'm pairing it up with these uh, shoulder duster rhinestone earrings that are. These are four and one to half inches long. I'm gonna pair it up with that. There's no rhinestones missing. They're pretty lovely. Look, there's that. I'll show you the back. For the set, it's 10 bucks if anybody wants it. Um, there's the back and here's the front. So 10 bucks for that. Call it the uh, shoulder duster set, I guess. <laughs> Rhinestone earring set. Um, and then the last piece here is, I'm calling, this is a glass necklace. So that's what I'm calling it. Um, it is glass. Let me pull the one up. It looks different. That's how I've been doing it. It's lovely. Here's how it's put together. These are all glass and they are separated by glass seed beads and these are glass faux pearls. Pretty nice, I think. You've got one, two, four strands down around the neck and one up behind. It's 32 inches from here down to the first pier, um, first strand. And I'm going to do that to it. And there it is. That's $10 as well. You would call it, just call it the faux pearl, pearl and silver glass necklace if anybody's interested. It's a lovely necklace. It shines beautifully. And um, I think it would look nice. Nice dress piece. So that's it. Um, email me, vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com if you're interested in any of this jewelry. And have a good day.